Alexander had a dream once. A dream of a great Greek empire that spanned all the civilized peoples of the world. An empire claimed and run by Greeks, with Greek values and Greek civilization. When Alexander founded Alexandria, he envisioned a huge city with dual ports and a trading hub for the whole of the East. And like many of Alexander's dreams, Alexandria has fulfilled his vision. A great city bearing the greatest of names. But unlike Alexandria, us Greeks have not been able to fulfill his vision. After his death, we have squabbled and schemed and fought amongst ourselves over the scraps he left behind. But now there is one who brings hope once again to the hearts of all true Greeks. That is us. That is me and all the Seleucid blood that has been spilt with the aim of reimagining Alexander's dream. And there is one city that allows us to cement ourselves in the hearts of all Hellenes across the world. The city of Alexandria, the latent jewel of Alexander, the city that represents his dream, the Ptolemies last claim to his legacy. And once we take it, they will wither and wither and wither like great Alexander on his deathbed. But we will not wither. We will grow stronger and larger to prove to the world that we are the true heirs to Alexander, the mightiest of all his offspring. And one day, the dream that was Alexander's, that he bore true, shall be born to us and all Greeks will tell stories of Antiochus and the Seleucids as their greatest of heroes. After all, dreams are powerful, and ours the most powerful dream of them all. Reclaim Alexander's legacy, and the Greeks once again will rule the world. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RIS version 0.5. Yes, last time we took the city of Memphis, the capital of Egypt, which uh, includes the Great Pyramid and Sphinx of Gaza, which uh, the Great Pyramid nullifies the cultural penalty effects of Egyptian buildings for non-Egyptian factions, which is actually a really, really good... A uh, really good um, wonder for us here. The uh, Lighthouse of Alexandria. I've forgotten what does that do. Halves the chance of nearby ships at, uh, at sea sinking and increases naval movement allowances. It's not amazing, uh, but it's something. And also, we are going to take Alexandria. A large city. The seat of Alexander. A city founded by him. So that we can reinforce the fact that we are the true heirs to Alexander as we are going along on our bloody business destroying the Ptolemies right now. And of course, in the northeast where Bactria have betrayed us, uh, we are starting to build up these regions to try and start recruiting decent troops up here so that we can then have a go at Bactria, which is pretty much all in this region over here. And I can't believe they've attacked us. We're also sending up a bit of an army where are you? To go and see whether we can potentially take Nisa. If that doesn't work, that'll be fine. But uh, we'll go and see. We will go and see. So, without further ado, guys, let us end the turn. And see what happens. Okay, we're getting a general down there. I believe that might be one of our sons. I'm not too sure. Um, you don't have any men on, do you? That's okay. Where... Oh, you were there. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, but I don't think they could have made it back to a port, so there's nothing we could do about that. Uh, but that's fine. That is fine. Uh, we are starting to make some good money again, even though we have we are running pretty much uh, two full stacks, really. We're also on uh, the island of Cyprus. Smashing through Cyprus, hopefully. Uh, I really want to take it, because it's going to make us rich. It's going to make us very rich indeed. Um, so let's go have a look over here. So what do they have? Oh, they have just two units in there. 
Um, do you know what? We shall rearrange it so that you guys come here because I want these guys to take the majority of the damage. In fact, I even want you guys to come to the front as well. So when you auto-resolve in this game, guys, the ones at the front get the majority of the damage. And there's no point taking that uh, as a fight, as we've seen before. We'll enslave Salamis as well. It's a minor city. We've brought it all the way down to 4,800. Um, and it has a level 5 native culture Greek. Fantastic. That is something that is absolutely excellent for us. As well as an arena. Dang. I'm not sure about that arena, you know. I guess we'll keep it for now. Uh, and then we'll build a shrine to Hera. As usual. Actually, no, we won't. We shall build a shrine to Tyke. And I kind of need some, like, troops. Some Akontistai to come onto here. Is there anywhere that can uh, recruit the Akontistai? I mean, here can. So let's recruit, like, two of those. And let's uh, try and move out straight away and see what it's like. The good thing is, it's Greek, so they shouldn't be too unhappy with us. And I actually don't know where the next settlement is. So let's move along slowly. Okay, so we've got one over here, Saloy. Let's get a few more troops in. Let's have a look at that. And then there's this one as well, Amethus. And there's one more in this corner. So there's four on here. All should be providing us with a decent amount of trade income as we're going along. Trelaeus has grown. That's cool. Let's upgrade that then. Where is the rioting? The rioting is in Memphis. That's actually very interesting. I was not expecting that. I think once we've got you archers in there. Yeah, we're on 70%. Coming of age of Arcesilaus. Uh, Arcesilaus. Where are you? You are in Passa. Very interesting. These places are not really amazing, are they? But let's get you in over here. There's not really anywhere else that's close by to stick you in, so we'll leave you over there. That's fine. The Belgae are the most advanced nation. Really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is something not expected. <laughs> Salukia, we just got the Agora. So let's have a look what else we want to build over here. Could go for the elite tax. This is just a, a set 500. But I, I, I kind of want to avoid that building if I can. Um, we could go for the Great Agora. Will that make much money? Oh, yes, it will. Fantastic. Settlement income of 12,000. <sighs> Salukia is redonkulously powerful right now. Uruk also got the uh, trade caravan, which is a fantastic building. So let's have a look at that market. See whether that makes us money. Yeah, it does make us a decent amount. Uh, and then, first things first, let's, let's let's deal with our armies first. I don't want to jump the gun too much. So, yeah, we'll uh, siege down Pelusion, and we'll bring you along, my friend. Um, and then it looks, it does look like they are coming to attack us. I could march back and fight them. Could we defend this, though? We do have 45 Chalcospedes who will put up a big fight uh, and hold them back. They've got their own Chlorochoi, but they've got Prodromoi, Slingers, and it looks like the rest of their men are missile troops. So I think we could actually probably hold that. If we can hold the walls, we'll do fine. And they're only going to send one Chlorochoi up onto the walls, probably. So we'll keep on coming. Siege down Nocratus. They've only got a single uh, general in there. Then we'll march on Alexandria. The great prize for us to reclaim the mantle of heir of Alexander. Then up here, let's have a look. Have we finished building anything? Not quite. Not quite. You're building roads. You're also building recruitment. Uh, a colony. That's fine. Uh, and then this army, get you moving. It's just a bit annoying that they took Ekbatana, isn't it? Quite annoying. <laughs> Let's
Like it's just splits our splits our poor map in half. But don't worry, we will betray them, or they will betray us at some point. It's uh, it's a given, really. Uh, that the betrayal will happen at some point. Let's go for the inland trade center potentially. I mean, it makes okay money. Let's have a look down here. What do we want to build over this side? Where are you? Are you not trading with your port? It looks that way. Let's go with that, though. And then over here. As if we've not got a land clearance over here. Same over here. Do the, no communal farming. Let's build those. And let's go for some roads. And some more roads. And then potentially Seleucia is building the Great Agora. And then over here. Yeah, we're good. We've only got 1,000 left anyway. Um... And then we want, once those guys are done, we'll send them across. We potentially need three, I would say. I'm fine leaving this Greek Peltast in there, even though they're a little bit expensive. But that's fine. And then Cappadocia over here looks like, so when we looked at the big map before, it looks like they are fighting Pontus. Uh, who are our allies, which is actually quite good for us. Because if they wipe out Pontus, we can then just come in and take over the whole of Cappadocia. Which will be great. Over here, Pergamon is sitting pretty. Not attacked us yet. And then over here, of course, the Ptolemies. They have plenty of islands that we want to swoop in and take at some point. But I think the main priority is taking Cyprus. And then moving north to fight Cappadocia. Although, it could be good to go and take these islands off them. But we shall see. We shall see. See how long it takes to take uh, Cyprus. This is a lovely little army here. Ready to destroy the rest of the goddamn Ptolemies. The fools. Ah, the Greek city-states have attacked uh, Byzantium. The City of World's Desire. Or well, they're going to. There we are. The City of World's Desire. In the hands of the Greeks once again. Now. Keep it coming. And Cappadocia haven't attacked us. That's brilliant. Well, I hope you've been enjoying this series, guys. I certainly have. It has been fantastic. Uh, let's uh, get to here. So you're here. I think like nearly all of these places have generals in now. It's quite obscene. Generals everywhere. <laughs> Literally everywhere. Chalcodon, yep. What about over here? Not over there. So, let's get you over there. Get you over there, my good man. And Nikaya is upgrading. Good. Eventually, we've not had that many upgrades, really. So far. Now we're the most advanced faction. I mean, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, Baroya. Lots of roads being built. Salamis. Got the governors. Uh, Salamis. We've just taken Salamis. Wow. What? Oh, no. It's a, uh, it's a repair. <laughs> a repair job. I was very confused then. All right. We will probably fight that battle. As we go. This one. However, we will not fight. We'll just... Uh, he killed 60, really. I mean, that's probably about right. It's only a minor city again. And we'll get rid of this. And then we'll have a look along. It's again a native culture Greek. These settlements are absolutely fantastic to take. Being native culture Greek. Level 5 as well. So, I mean, this isn't going to be ever a recruitment hub because it does not have the upgrades. Same with this. I'm hoping Alexandria has some good, good military buildings. But if not, it's fine. We'll uh, build a Seleucid. Uh, no, actually, let's build. Let's build the shrine to Hera first. And we'll wait in here just for. Uh, will we wait? We need some some like slingers or something to man the walls while we march on Alexandria. So let's uh, get some mercenaries. Whoa! No mercenaries available at all. Really. Wow. It's a long way you have to go to go there. Hmm. Uh, 
I mean, it doesn't look like that strong an army, so I, I could just leave the Theroperoi behind. They're not too happy. No, I'm plenty. I'm, I'm confident this army could beat this quite handily. So we'll leave it at that. Oh, more towns are growing. That's great. Let's upgrade them all. That's probably from the enslavement there. Stakra. And then there's going to be even more after this. 5% bonus on trade income. Not so useful for a military commander, but that's fine. How are we doing up here again? Okay, nothing building here. So let's keep on going with the colonies. Once you're, you've built that, that's fine. Once you've, you've built that, that's fine. Over here as well, that's great. And where is my little army? There it is. Takes a long time to move. A long time to move. So go that way. And we should build some watchtowers as well. Also thinking Zagdra Carter would be a great place for a recruitment hub as well. Let's get the second level of colony. Like, the Greek is just not going to spread really very well in these regions because of the amount of neighboring regions. If you look here at the conversion, neighboring regions is a big thing. 5% for each neighboring region makes a place Greek. So that's great. But up there, it makes them... Uh, is that Iranian? I believe that's Iranian culture in Zadrakata. Yeah, Iranian. And you can see neighboring regions is 20%. Because all the neighboring regions are Iranian. So. Uh, your job. Oh, they've actually got some decent troops here. I think we do that. And enslave those as well. This army can just get retrained when we, come, when we go to Alexandria. Is this also Greek? This is also Greek. One thing I'm confused about, where were they recruiting their good troops from if Memphis doesn't have, like, any good buildings? They've just got a militia barracks. Uh, that's kind of weird. I kind of want to build a shrine to Taiki here. And then let's keep on moving. Now let's, if we look down here... Ah, Tanis. That's where we were going. How unhappy are you? Not too unhappy. Good. Let's go. Siege this down. And then this one, I believe... Well, we'll fight this one. Give you guys a battle. Don't want to auto-resolve all our battles today, do we? It's just these sieges take a while. We've got Aristokritos. Aristocritos. Good name. Right. I will see you guys on the battlefield. Here we are. Comes, this battle will be done. Excuse Whether me. the day goes well or not, it's in our hands. Brave sons of Greece, fight well and earn the favor of the gods. The gods, yes. We've only really used our elephants once. So far. Uh, get there. Drop them for now. We need archers in this army. It's uh, severely lacking in the missile variety. So we'll get you guys. I will. I'm going to send up my experienced boyos. They know how to assault a wall. They have been through it many times before, and we'll send up this novice one to take the flak over here. Let's go. And then, when we get in, what do we need? I think, I think we can do most of it with our, our generals, honestly, and probably our Greek hoplites. We get there. What are you? And the uh, the remaining Theroperoi, really. Although, the Chalka Speeders would be... Uh, yeah, they're probably going to be better against... Uh, better against everyone, really. There's the Slingers. I'm surprised they didn't put those on the walls. Right, let's speed it up. 
Come on, speed up. I like this music. Great music. I don't know. Have we heard this music before? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we've, we've taken a few losses. Assaulting the walls, that's fine. Is to be expected. We know what we want to do here, don't we? You get there. If you could fire, that would be excellent. Now, Chalka Speeders, we're going to send our novice ones in, so hopefully they get some experience, as well as the general. And then just slow down a little bit. You two and you. I'm going to get you in, and you should be enough. Destroy the rest of them, hopefully. That's the idea, anyway. Yeah, fire your javis. Quick, just get there. Okay, they're broken already. So we'll send our... Send our Chalka Speeders this way. Our Chalka Speeders are actually a fantastic unit. Send you this way. And then the two Theroperoi will send you this way as well. And we're going to get you on fire at will. Ooh, that would be a nice little firing arc, wouldn't it? If, you had, if I had some archers. God damn it. I wish I had some archers. My poor boyos. Um, do you know what, Theroperoi? I know we're going to get shot by the things a little bit, but I'm willing to send you this way. Although, not too bad this way, actually. Just come this way. It's fine. I'm going to get you guys down here, see whether you can actually fire or not. It'd be great if they charged. <laughs> that would be ideal. Come on, guys. Get in position. Uh, they just instantly routed. Now let's speed it up. This is the problem now. Is going to be having to fight them on the town square once again. So we have to kill them all. So let's move slowly forward. That's not great that we can't go all the way across there. Get there. Speed it up. Okay, they're coming now. What the hell are you guys doing? You guys hold. I mean, as long as we kill that general. I, there's two units on here, though. Two whole units. Well, they're firing their javis at the wrong thing. So, stop. Do not fire anymore. Where is this guy? Yeah, you here. Okay, if we can kill that general, that'll be fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my general around here. They're going to get shot a little bit, but hopefully not too much. We should kill that general pretty easily with the phalanx. Come on, kill them all. Where is my general? Okay, getting shot now. Let's get you up here. Cool. I'm going to charge into the Hoplites just to charge back out again. Get out. Get out. Hopefully drags them off. It's just the general left, I think, or two of them. Oh, no, there's five. Still five. There's the general. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, it's so annoying when they just camp on the town square. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. He's dead now. Good. I'm going to get these guys to run through. Same with these guys. Then get you here. Get you on that. Same thing with you guys. Get you on fire at will. 
fire. I just want to use all my javis. No point fighting these guys on the town square. Now get away. Get them away from that town square. If you can fire those javis, that would be good. Okay. That's kind of good. I reckon we could probably break them here. Come on, boys. Let's go. They're still eager. But, I mean, that charge did nothing to them. Absolutely nothing, really. They're literally just, like, low-tier units. I mean, this army is going to be pretty healthy. And, if anything, we can go to Antioch to retrain it if we need to. It's not too much of a hop. Yes. Squish them all. You guys get there. And we're going to have to just box this guy in and kill him. The Roperoi, get there. General. Let's get you off. Get over there. Right, come on, Theropoi, get moving. Get moving. So you can fire your javis. And we'll get you guys there. Did you fire your javis yet? Nope. Oh, well. Ah. Now you need to come through. Go fight them. I'm going to put them on attack, see whether they do and if do the, the right thing. It looks like they have this time, to be fair, which is good. Kept it in phalanx formation. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Ah, oh, we're shredding them. Absolutely shredding them. Love it. Love it. 349. 82. Yeah. Oh, 96 for the Chalka Speeders. Well done. Everyone else doing pretty well. And finally, the city is ours. Glorious, glorious victory. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory! Here we are, guys. And Saloy is ours. And again, we will enslave and put them down to low. There's mines here. That's actually great. It's, it's not too bad a settlement for a... Uh, just a large town. It's got a decent amount of upgrades. And again, we'll leave the Peltas behind and march straight forth for Paphos. Yes, fantastic. And they've got some decent units in there as well. Got, it seems like they've got three units in each. But we will probably also resolve the last two on Cyprus. Just because there's no need to fight these battles against small amounts of troops on the siege. Unless it's a uh, sort of special... Uh, special city like Alexandria, for example. Um, and then we're taking the Nile Delta as well. Fantastic. Right, let's uh, spend the rest of our money. And what do we want to do? Um, I think we uh, just come on here and sort them by turn income. And let's upgrade some of our richer settlements. There's that. Yeah, turn income. So, Seleucia, of course, Uruk. Babylon is next. Good. Let's see what we want to build there. Probably the Agora. Why is it put me all the way down there? Oh, God damn it, bro! Why reset when I press on something? Don't do that. Um, Inland Trade Center. No, let's go for the market here. Then Bitha. Let's also go for the market. And Jerusalem's actually a very rich settlement. 2,500. And I think... Let's... Could we start converting over here? Potentially. Depends on how Greek the rest of the cities are around this region. Ephesus is very rich as well, interestingly enough. So let's get it richer with that farming. And then that's good. We'll probably do a sewer down in Adramition. Keep that population growth uh, building up. Because even on low, it's only on 0.5. That's very, very low amount of population growth. Um, Cyprus will make us rich. 
How much money? Seven, only 725 right now. But as we build up these ports on this island, the trade routes are going to become massive. And they'll start making us a huge amount of cash. So, let's end the turn. We are just slicing through the Ptolemies. Ah, finally! A field battle for the boys. A field battle for the boys. And Ptolemy the Philosopher is here. As well as uh, Permenion. So Permenion, he's got two Phalanx units. And pretty much the rest of them are missiles. Which we'll have to deal with with our Slingers and Archers. And similar situation here with Ptolemy the Philosopher. So they got two generals. We also do have two generals. Antiochus the Conqueror. And Antiochus as well. Is that Antiochus' son? I believe it is. But anyway, let's fight this battle. Glorious field battle at the port of Alexandria, guys. I'll see you on the map. Here we are. They do seem eager. Yes. Is that it? What a, a riveting speech there. And why did they choose the dark again? The AI loves to choose the least aesthetically appealing uh, methods of fighting. Times to fight, should I say. Oh, we'll, we'll smash their cavalry with ours. The only problem is the Prodromoi, but that'll be fine. Start the battle. And also, let's have a look around. If it wasn't so dark, we should have be able to see... Oh, there it is. The Lighthouse of Alexandria. Oh, where's the city? It's over that way, but we, we just can't see it. It's too dark. They're both coming from the same direction, which is great for us. But just two sides of the same coin. So we're going to just withdraw slightly. Move you cav together. And we'll uh, come into here. And these guys, let's get them over this way. And speed things up. It's going to be close, actually, I think. Closer than I, I would expect this battle. And we need to uh, we'll get our missile boyos over this side and our cavalry over here. I do not want to fight the Prodromoi with my cavalry because they'll just run away. So as soon as they're in range, which should be now, they might charge, you know. Looks like they are. They are charging. Weird. Weird. But okay. That's actually probably a good move by them there. Getting rid of my missile troops early. Well done, AI. But you are going to lose your Prodromoi in the process. Your first unit of Prodromoi. Now you boys stay there. We'll get our uh, guys here. And then the rest of my cav is just too slow. That Prodromoi likely will come back. Get firing at this Prodromoi anyway. And the rest of them are just so far behind. It doesn't matter. Don't know why you're firing fire missiles. We don't need those. We want more damage. Let's go. Keep firing, boys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. Come on. I know we've not got a lot of uh, ammunition, but surely we should be taking down more than that. They should die on each shot, surely. Nope, they're going for it. They look like they are going for it. Keep firing at them. Now they're running away. Okay. They're the most annoying troops we have to deal with right now. And who are you? Oh, more Prodromoi. Go away. God, we're just, just sort of two little missile troops to deal with these goddamn Prodromoi. Prodromoi on this side as well. Intensely annoying. If they want to just... Sit there and do that. It's fine. Just keep an eye on the minimap for the ones on the other side. Oh, looks like they managed to uh, fire at my guys here. Oh, God damn it. Just go away. <sighs> Missile cavalry is honestly 
The bane of my fucking existence in this game. I hate them. Go away. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> Just come into non-existence. The annoying thing is, as well, they, they are just trash. But they're just so annoying. They just mess up everything you want to do. Who are you, as well? More Prodromoy! Oh, it's the Prodromoy that's come back. This guy wants to play. Let's come around this way. And we will squish them in against the back. No, we won't. Okay, go, 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 go. We should catch them. Catch them. Yes, then they'll be forced to fight. They'll be forced. Surely they're forced to fight. Go the fuck away. Ugh, oh, goddamn. I hate them. I hate them. They will just break, though. That's the one good thing. Ah! There's nothing more annoying than fucking Missile Cav! God damn it, bro. <laughs> How annoying can they get? Ah! Fuck off! You pricks! Now they charge. That's okay. We'll, we'll kill them all now. I fucking hate these pieces of shit. Jesus Christ. Kill them all. I don't want to see a single survivor. I want them all dead. No, no. Now it's probably time to go and deal with their actual missile troops they have. You're another... Oh. I think we'll be fine. Damn Prodromoy. God damn Prodromoy, huh? Let's kill this Akontis die. And if we, uh... <sighs> the problem is that missile troops are actually so quick. Then we'll go kill that, try and kill their general. Their missile troops are like quicker than my cav. Because <laughs> I've got heavy cav. And we'll kill their Greek slingers as well while they're at it. And then we need to rush back. Okay, that's one of their generals dead. I don't think... Oh my god, my uh, my Chalka Speeders have gone. They've gone. They have routed. We might lose this, you know. Let's charge this Akontis die. That's going to break. We need... A unit of uh, infantry to hold... The Phalanx troops, that's one of the issues we have here. Because if we don't, we lose. Come forward. Which general has died? That is the problem. Kill this one. I know, I, that might be the one that we have already killed. Okay, that oh, we've killed this one. That's interesting. That guy's routing, though. Rally them. Rally the boys. God, this is going to be really, really tight. Kill all the rest. How these? If we've killed their general, how is the? How are they so happy? Okay, he's running his goddamn phalangites into us. Let's get away. Kill that fool. Is that a general? How? What? Which general died then? It said the general was routing. God damn! How? How long does it take to kill this guy? He's literally surrounded. Kill him! Jesus Christ! You took your time. Come on, get away! It's not too bad a situation when they're not in phalanx. Ah, we're, we're just not going to win this, I don't think. Ah! All because of some goddamn Prodromoy, literally. I hate them. <laughs> I don't know whether I've said it, guys, but I, I hate them. 
with a passion. We killed their general, so I'm hoping they'll rout on a charge. Yep, instant rout. Good. Good! This is what we like to see, boys. Not fighting to the death. I don't want them fighting to the death. They'll kill me. Uh, you guys come here. They're running their phalangites around a lot. So, I mean, these are the best units to kill. So even if we lose the battle, for example, it's probably the best unit to kill. These phalangites... So he's going to charge in. That's good. I'm going to give this a rally again. And then we'll charge these guys in the back. Uh, in fact, you come this side. The rest of you charge that side. And uh, we shall charge these fools. Oh, come on, shaken. Not stirred. Let's go. Another charge. Hopefully should suffice. Let's see. Go, 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 my boys. Go, my boys. That was a terrible charge. We need to actually set up for the charge first, I think. Are they getting into phalanx formation now or what? Looks like they are. Don't want Antiochus to die in this shitty little fight. Oh! Okay, we we somehow won. What a mess. What a mess of a battle. That was a very bloody battle. We'll continue. I do quite would uh, I do quite want to fight the battle at Alexandria just for the spectacle, but we might have already won this. I doubt it though. I doubt it. I don't th I think they'll have enough troops. Get that one. I don't... F will we reach them? We might reach these guys before they get off the map. So, that's good. We'll keep on uh, pursuing them. God damn. Prodromoy, bro. I hate them. <laughs> uh. That was a lot tighter than I expected, honestly. And it's probably likely because we don't have enough infantry. Our infantry kind of crumbled. Yeah, look at that. We lost a lot of men. They also lost a lot of men as well, but... Woo! General's bodyguard, 155, 147. Zistaphora, 104. The Hoplites, 101. Pretty good. But these ones, 24, and they sustained 100 casualties. This Chalcospede sustained 91 casualties and only killed 16. God damn it, bro. God damn it, bro. Oh, oh well. Um, that's fine. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Bloodied and broken. Here we are, and we didn't take it, so we might get to fight for Alexandria as well, which will be great, and uh, we will do that. We will... 35,000 this turn? Where has that come from? That is a huge increase in income. That is likely trade, I would say. That's, that's massive. That is brilliant. That means it's probably time to go through our regions and put them all to low. Um... Definitely something I will do, but I might do it between episodes, just because it's, uh, yeah. You guys have seen it a lot, haven't you? <laughs> Me messing with the settings and the amount of people. So, Abydos has died. Okay, so we kind of need Peltast in there. So, or what was his name? Antipatros, sorry. Uh, Abronicus has come of age. Abronicus. That's a cool name. I, I really like that name, actually. Uh, let's have a look. These settlements are rich, rich, rich. And you, my boy, are going to be a rich man as the governor of one of these places. Now, I'm quite... That's probably a good idea to put you in a sir, seeing as a sir is relatively unhappy. So off you go, my friend. What are you like? You're a procrastinator. You're apparently loyal. You respect your father. You're a Seleucid. And you're Greek. Okay. That's fine. 
Uh, we've got new family members, Antigonus and Diado. Oh no! You fool! You cannot name your child Antigonus in our empire. It'd be like calling them Ptolemy. You fool! Disgusting. Disgusting behavior. Right, let's go up to Alexandria Prosphasia. And... Let's build the paved roads. And now we have... This. I think we go four of those boyos. And then Alexandria Ariane. Let's build four of those. That's going to cost us a lot of money. And what do we want to build? I think it's time for the stables. Alexandria Susia also built that. Let's build the paved roads here. Antiochia Persis. Yeah, you can go for that. Syrinx Tribanks. You can go for a port. Get some trade up in this region as well. Nocratis. Yeah, it's probably worth coming around here and having a look at what we want to build. Building this Lucid Recruitment there. And, yeah, 36,000 now. That's a big increase. We were on 24,000 last turn. Don't know where that big increase has come from. See, this... We are trading. Let's have a look over here. Uh, I guess these trade routes look like they're new. I don't think they were in last time. But let's... Uh, Clear victory. Let's take that one. And now that we've got these guys, let's come down here. Actually, we'll just wait a turn. Hopefully, we don't get destroyed. Why are the elephants at the front? God damn it, bro. We lost a load of, load of elephants there because they were at the front. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Why were they at the front? I put them at the back last time. Are you joking me? I really don't want the Theropoi to be a governor, but uh, to be a, uh, a garrison, should I say. But for now, that's fine. The elephants better stay at the back, bro. Oh, they have an army here now. They're going to fight us. Good. Good. I welcome it. I welcome the fight. The Ptolemies honestly are just falling to pieces right now. This is fantastic. And you know what? Although it's such an easy battle, let us fight this. For the glory of Alexander, let us take Alexandria as ours. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the glorious battle map. That is no orc horn. Fantastic. Yeah, it will be done. Um, yeah, I think the slingers and the archers are the ones that we want to send up. Hopefully they don't get shot too much. <laughs> but they might do. They might do. We shall see. Uh, in fact, can you, like, go... No, go, go, go. Go there, go there, go there. <sighs> That's, uh, there's not many men. We might not be able to get over the walls here. Yeah, these guys have died. They all died. No! My beautiful archers don't die. Okay, these guys, these guys have done it. Yes, come on, the boys. I think the rest of this is yeah, it's Prodromoi and Akantistai. That's a job for our general, I would say. Let me just come all the way along there. Take all these towers. They're not moving. It's just time for to charge them, I think. We'll uh, rally both of them so that we don't lose our generals, hopefully. Rally. Oh, God. We just demolished them. But just slow down. Yeah, Alexandria is not a... Uh, doesn't look like it's a... Uh, it's its own settlement. Doesn't look like we could see the... Uh, <laughs> see the lighthouse. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map where Alexandria is ours, guys. Here we are. And finally, Alexandria is ours. We are truly the heirs to Alexander. We just need Pella. And uh, we will have completed the set. Um, and potentially Bactria as well. But yes, we will have completed the set. And here it is. 
Look at this. The army barracks, the cavalry stables, the archery range. Oh, and they've got a uh, library of Alexandria here as well. That is awesome. Grain exports. Greek native culture. Shrine to Ra. Shrine to Osiris. And a shrine to Proteus. Um, I want my shrines. <laughs> Oh, glorious, glorious. I mean, the first thing that we need to build, of course, is our recruitment hub. And I think at this point, we are kind of running on fumes over here uh, in terms of our armies. They are so battered and bloody now that we need to wait until Alexandria is upgraded and we can start uh, recruiting, not recruiting, retraining all our boys there. That would be fantastic. Over here, on the other hand. Ah, we've just sieged that down. So, Halicarnassus has grown by that enslavement. Great. Smyrna has grown. And we've captured another wonder. Another wonder. Another wonder of the world. Fantastic. Oh, it's glorious. The Ptolemies are falling to the pieces. To the pieces? What am I talking about? Falling to pieces. Damascus. So, I'm just, I'm really starting to think that it is time to start making a lot of these places Greek that are not Greek. You already are a level 5 Greek colony. Um, and let's start just building through here now. We've got loads of money, so... Doesn't matter too much every single little bit we spend now. So let us keep on just upgrading these places as we go. Now in the north, how are we doing? Have we got our army moving? We have. It's very much time to build a watchtower though. It would be. We'll build a watchtower next time next turn. Build one here. Um is there anyone else we could have sent with them? I don't think so. I think these like they, these regions need to uh, need to stay happy. I don't want to lose another region to rebellions. That would not be good. So Antioch still going as a decent recruitment hub. It's it is close to Cappadocia and stuff, so it's likely going to still remain a good recruitment hub for us for our northern walls. Um, and then over here, hmm, Greek city states. That is a tiny army you are taking, but I guess they just have one unit in there, so it's fine. Where are you going, my friend? You're going over here. Could have done with a watchtower in there as well, but oh well. What a glorious, glorious uh, nation that we run now. It is fantastic. And we are wide and large. We need, uh, We do need this region. Nile, it's all Nile Delta. So that whole region is for Tanis. Um, and then, what's this one though? That's Ferrantis. Ah, uh, it's over there. Yep, yeah, that's Ferrantis. We should go and take that at some point. We will probably send this detachment to go and take it after we've taken Tanis. Gold Star Prodromoy. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> As much as I hate them, it's quite funny to see them as a gold star. Um, yeah, cool. Oh, this is just a glorious situation now. Uh, did we find over here any more of their... No, this is Kyrene. So we have boarded with Kyrene, who I believe we are allies with, or we were at the start of the game. Yeah, we are still allied with them. That's fantastic. Bactria, Parthia, Cappadocia are our enemies. Look at those trade partners. That'll be why we're making so much money. Absolutely obscene amount of money now. 41,000. We have hit the snowball point, I think. Uh, and it, it makes sense. We have been conquering for a very, very long time. And we are just... We are just on an absolute rampage right now, aren't we? We are very, very close to restoring Alexander's empire. The rest of Anatolia, of course, will be a big project, as well as Greece. But 
Hmm. Greece can wait. Greece can wait. The Ptolemies need to die first. And if we can take all the way down the Nile Delta, they are pretty much neutralized as a threat right now. But even if we can take down the Nile Delta, we'll absolutely destroy them. They have some colonies down here. I'm really not bothered about that. Uh, I don't think they'll focus too much on us if we're not bordering them. So we shall leave them to their sad existence down there at that point. So let's uh, end the turn again, boys. 41,000. What a fantastic amount of cash to be getting in. Not quite enough yet to be building in every settlement. But I think that's what we're going to start doing is just go through the list. Carefully before you reply. I mean, what? Why? <laughs> I'll offer you map information. A most there we are. Proposal. That doesn't matter because the AI... So giving map information to the AI, guys, if in case you don't know, doesn't matter. Because the AI pretends like they don't know where settlements are, but they do. They, they The AI knows where everything is. They know where your armies are. They know where your, your uh, settlements are. So by giving them map information, it's not helping or hindering them at all. It's It's just kind of a neutral action. So by doing that... They're not going to attack us. Baghdatis has died. That is not good. That is not ideal. So, this needs to get in there straight away to keep them happy. If we really get to a bad point with that and it starts rioting, we'll just recruit another troop. So, Antioch, we've pretty much got as much as we can in terms of militarily out of here. Apart from... I'm trying to have Feistus, so let's build that. Then Uruk... Let's build the paved roads in Uruk. Adramition. Build some farming. Trelaeus got an upgrade, which is quite nice. I like that. Go for the river ports. Seleucia Hadaiphon. Let's go for that. Assur. Let's go for... I think... I mean, it's Greek already, so we don't need to go for the colony. Uh, Nippur. Let's go for... Why have you only got a Temple of Hera? It's just because you're a large town you can't build the others yet. Uh, Trader. And Taioki. Let's build those roads. And then... See, we wanted to build a watchtower up here. I hate that that, that closes every time. Let's build a watchtower. We can see a little bit better. We'll build one up here as well. I hate not being able to see everywhere. <laughs> uh, we could build another one here. I know it's a bit of a waste of money. But it is nice to see when the Parthians might be uh, might be coming and joining us. Now over here, how are we doing in terms of our building? We're building another stables. We're building that there. Building that there. And down here we're building roads. Cool. Over there, we're building roads. That's all good. That's all good. And we're recruiting some men to go and try and take, at least try and take the fight to Bactria. All these places are building apart from Is. Build the roads there then. About over here. Building, building, building. Building, building. Building, building. Pasar Gadai is not building. Let's build the roads. And Harmosia, we've not built here for a very long time. You are our most easterly kind of a southern settlement. Building up here, of course. Let's get rid of those labels. Let's have a look in this region where we've not built for, for quite a while. So let's build in Soresia. I think, I mean, the paved roads are always good. Movement speed, everything is improved by them. Trade is really improved. Uh, but I think it's time to get some population growth in these places. If we can. Um, and we will save a little bit of cash because we have a couple of battles to do. So, yeah, they, they've gone away with that army. So we're going to just take that quickly. Now Cyprus is ours, which is fantastic. Repair those. Let's delete this. 
What temple have they got? No temple right now. So let's go with the temple of Tyke. This is a minor city as well. And you, my friend, are going to bring the garrisons across. Um, get in there. I just don't want you to have to fight these guys. <laughs> that would be quite annoying. And we'll get you in there. Ready to bring that army back across or to the islands. I'm undecided yet. But I think I think Cappadocia remains still a big threat. So probably is best if we go across that way. But we do need... We really do need some archers in that army. So we'll get three archers there. And over here... They keep bringing more and more troops across this way to try and defend. Oh, we've got plenty of army there to uh, deal with them. Be nice if we could have built in uh, these settlements, but okay. It's no problem. I, I just don't want to assault uh, this settlement with the armies on the outside. It's never, it's always messy when you do that. Or well, when I do it, anyway, it's always pretty messy. So I'm hoping they will attack us. But we shall see. But guys, it is glorious, our empire now, isn't it? It is fantastically glorious. It is awesome to see. We have land everywhere. We have taken Alexandria. Finally, we have taken the city of Alexander, founded by Alexander himself. And we have taken the Ptolemaic capital of Memphis. So we are we are rolling and rocking right now. We are doing very well. Fantastically. I hope you've been enjoying this series, guys. It really has been very, very fun. And our new task, now that the Ptolemies are kind of uh, broken, should we say, is to come down the Nile and demolish the rest of their settlements down here. Not demolish them, but, you know, kill all their armies and <laughs> take their settlements. Uh, as well as taking the rest of the islands over here. I think... I don't know. Honestly, the islands will not be a problem at all. Like, they, they won't have any garrisons in these places. So, we can probably just jump on all of these islands. I think they've got four. I believe it's these two. And then there's two over here, like Naxos and something else. We could potentially look over here just to see whether that... that oh, that's, that is part of Rhodes. Uh, and then we could have a look at Kydonia as well. At Crete. And try and take Crete because then we're, we've got a we've got kind of a launch platform onto Greece then. As well as kind of like another island full of trade that's going to make us loads of cash. And you can see, as soon as we've taken Cyprus, we've gone up pretty much 20,000 a turn. And are these, places, these places aren't making money, so it's probably just the generated trade between a lot of our places now. This doesn't isn't trading, though. Oh, no, that's not our settlement. That's why this one's trading. Oh, it's glorious to see, though, isn't it? The Ptolemies. It's been a long time in the making, hasn't it, guys? And we have... Finally got there. Just demolished them. Absolutely savage them. Slap them around. They are not happy bunnies anymore. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I shall see you all again on the next video.